so it is Thursday, which means it is time for Throwback Thursday here on HGTV Handmade. Today we are heading back to a show called Craft Lab to learn how to dress up an umbrella into something that they're calling a hipster parasol. Today we're making a hipster parasol. I'm going to be hanging out with Lori Meeker, contributing artist to Gothtober.com. Hey Lori. Hi Jennifer. Now you are a costume designer, correct? I am also a costume designer, yes. Um, I do a lot of freelance work. I also uh, really like uh, historical costume and doing things like parasols are really fun for that. For the historical effect, I like the parasol. They're very cool. I like, you got the trim on here. We've got stencils. We've got appliques. Very mod hipster parasol. It is very mod. It's really bright and colorful and it's it's good for, for any age, I think, because of the vintage fabric and the bright colors. I really like working on it because it's, uh, it's kind of like collage but with fabric and, and other kind of fabric materials. I like it. So step numero uno, we take a plain old Boring umbrella slash umbrella. parasol. Mm -hmm. And the first thing we're going to do is open that baby up. Okay. We're going to take this plain old handle and we're going to jazz it up with some gold paint. First thing we're going to do is pack off some pieces of paper and we're going to mask off as much as we can the inside of this umbrella. What we're aiming for is the handle here and a little bit of these metal ribs right here. So I've got some metallic paint and what we're going to do is we're going to spray about, about 12 inches away from everything and we're going to do a couple light layers. It'll be able to be handled in 20 minutes and completely dry in about an hour. Okay, now our handle is to totally dry and it's able to be touched. I'm going to close it up and now do the tip of the umbrella. We're going to mask off the fabric of the umbrella. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to cut a smaller piece. I'm going to poke a hole in the middle and just feed the tip of the umbrella through. I'm going to put the glue tape on this right along the very edge of the metal cap on the end. We're just trying to cover up the pink fabric so that we don't get any paint on it. Right. Give it a few light strokes just like we did for the base of the umbrella. And again, it'll be dry just like the other paint. In about 20 minutes, it should be dry and then perfectly dry in an hour. The next thing to do is to prepare our stencils. Okay, and that would be these cool little circles up here and then the flowery pattern yeah. down here. I love that you made your own stencils. There's not always the coolest ones in the world out there available. So. No, but there are some good choices. But I always like to do things the way I would like them to be and kind of create something that doesn't exist in the world. So I like that. Um, I have here one example, the, the floral scroll stencil, and I hand drew this. And you have the lace stencil. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to follow these black lines here with my uh, utility knife, cutting out all the black areas. And there's our completed stencil. So I'm going to show you how to finish yours now that mine is done. So we've got some spray adhesive. We've got your template that you cut all the circles out of. And we're going to use a lace to put behind it. And you can use any kind of lace that you have around. I liked this one. It had the spirals in it. I'm going to lay this on here. And I'm going to kind of play with where the spirals are. I kind of like this one right there. So now I've got the paper cut out. I'm going to do a little spray adhesive. It's going to help um, make it stick around all these holes so that no paint seeps through. And then press this on. Then the last thing I did was I put a little tape on it. Just to kind of hem up our edges. Mm -hmm. And that just kind of seals it in. It seals it in and it just gives another barrier in case the uh, while you're working on it, the lace comes off. So that's, that's good to go. Nice, our stencil is born. All right, and you can get the goods to this hipster parasol at DIYNetwork.com. So what now? No, okay, now that both of our stencils are ready to go, we're gonna start painting the umbrella. This is a very exciting part. So the first thing I'm gonna do with this stencil, because it's a really intricate pattern, I'm gonna use a little bit of spray mount on the back. Just over the image on the back side. And what this is going to do, it's going to help all these tiny pieces adhere to the curves of the umbrella. Okay, now the brown is completely dry, and the next step is to put a gold paint right over where we painted the brown. I'm going to line this up to where the stencil was I painted brown. That looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to shift it a little bit. About a quarter of an inch to one direction. So it's just a little bit offset. So it's just a little bit offset. And I've got some gold paint. Shake it up. 
and just in the exact same way you painted the brown. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Now that all the gold paint is done, we're gonna set this aside and let it dry. All right, it's looking good. All right, so we have spray painted our tip and our handle gold, mm -hmm. and then we have done the double layer on our stencil with the brown and then the gold, and then now it's time to add our cool little mod girls and flowers with our fabric applique. Let's get started. So I've got this kind of groovy fabric, and just like what we were talking about with the crafters, we're gonna pick one of these images and cut it out. So you got this really cool blue girl, so I'm going to cut out this face. I'm going to include this flower because I like that, but I'm going to cut out all the rest. Start in on cutting your fabric, and what I did was I left a little edge of the background color. I think it makes it pop out a little bit more. I'm going to lay this out onto the fusible web. I'm going to pin this on nice and flat because the next thing we're going to do is cut out the fusible web in the exact same pattern as the girl and I'm going to pin them together as much as I can so that they're as one. Now we have all of our images cut out and ready to be ironed onto the nylon umbrella cover. And so I have pins in it here that we use to connect the fabric to the glue. I'm gonna use those pins to pin this into the nylon netting. I'm using not ball-headed pins, I'm using sort of a flat dressmaker pen because the iron will melt them. So now we're gonna iron this guy on and I'm gonna need that press cloth. You can let go for a sec. And this is gonna help us to protect the iron from any residual glue. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press it all over and then I'm gonna check it. Okay, let's see what we did. Okay, at this point we can take the pins out and the next thing we're gonna do are these sequins. The sequins are gonna use the same kind of heat. It's gonna be uh, still a silk setting, still with steam, and then just peel it off. All right, we have all our ladies and flowers and our iron-on sequins on. So next is crystals. Heat set crystals. Heat set crystals, and that gives our little parasol just a little extra sparkle because you can never have too much. A little bling. A little bling, I like it. Okay, so we've got these crystals here, and these are a large size. They come in lots of different sizes, lots of different colors and shapes. And you'll notice on these, they actually have glue on the back. That's that little uh, kind of clear stuff right there. What we need to do to get this on is fire. So you're gonna need some candles, a lighter, and tweezers. And before I actually get it heated, I'm gonna look and see where I wanna go. Because once it's ready to go, once it's heated up, you kinda have to put it on right away. If you lay this into the flame, uh -huh for about five to 10 seconds. So I can see that it's bubbling and the glue is melting. And real quick, I'm gonna head over here. Use your tweezers to your advantage and use the tweezers and put that on there. And in a couple seconds, it'll be dry and ready to go. Okay, so we got all of our crystals on it just how we like. They're all on there. And the next thing that we have to do is put a fun ruffle all the way around the bottom. Ruffles are good. I'm really gonna make our parasol look like a parasol. So I have this fabric, and what I did was with this fabric, I cut out one and a half inch strips. So what I did here is I took the very long strip and I'm folding it in half so it's easier to manage. And I'm going to take the pinking shears and just trim off a little edge of it. So now we've got it all cut out, and the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna draw a line down the center. I'm gonna draw that line because the middle of this piece of fabric is gonna be the edge of the umbrella. So we're gonna have a little bit hanging up and a little bit hanging lower. So we have a heart glue guns. They've been heated up, they're ready to go. And the first thing I'm gonna do is on the underside, the side without the line, I'm gonna put a little dab of glue, tiny little dot of it. And I'm gonna fold that over about a quarter of an inch. And what this is gonna do is clean off that edge, especially if it's like a, a ribbon trim where it has a, a raw edge. Mm -hmm. It's gonna make it look nice and neat. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a line of hot glue about, about four inches just to start. And I'm going to lay this on right on the edge. And I can see that that center line is, Lining I can feel the underneath edge of the umbrella. And with the hot glue, Hot, I'm gonna pinch tiny quarter of inch pinches oh. all the way across. Now that we have the ruffle all the way around the hem, now we're gonna put a ruffle up right on the top there. All right, a tippy top ruffle. 
And the same way that you did the ruffle on the bottom, we're gonna put a little dab of glue, turn it under a quarter of an inch, and then I'm gonna come up here and put a wee bit of glue there. Add this guy on. And we're pleating just the same way as we did before. And end it the way I began, by turning the end under. Greatest way to finish anything is in ribbon. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do up top here, I'm gonna cut a piece of ribbon to go around and make a little bow. And I'm gonna lay in another line of glue all the way around. Make it nice and secure so it doesn't pop off. So it's pretty nice. And we're gonna do the same thing around the bottom. I'm gonna start it the way I began. Give it a little hem. Give it a little hem. And I'm just gonna put in a line of glue right down the middle, right where that pencil mark was. Press it on. Try to get your ruffles down in one direction. And our finishing touch is all done. Done! We got all our adornments looking spiffy. Umbrellas are clearly an underrated accessory and we have rocked this one. It looks fantabulous. We've turned a plain old umbrella into a really groovy parasol. So even if you don't want to go all out, there are definitely some really good ideas in there about how to liven up some of your accessories. Or if you want to dress up an umbrella in a slightly more understated way, I made a video about that recently, which I will link in just a moment. So thank you guys so much for watching Throwback Thursday and tune in next week for even more awesome vintage HGTV. Bye everyone!